Hello and welcome to Shad's Voice, where I get a random topic, sometimes usually from a topic generator, and I talk about it. Um, today's topic, this is an interesting one because I haven't thought about it before, but basically it's can teaching be something you are taught? Like, and I guess it sounds weird, it kind of does, but if you understand what it's asking, when you teach somebody, are you taught how to teach someone? Or is it something you naturally do, or can everybody do it? And this is weird. It really is. So... And obviously there's different ways of teaching and how people learn, how people have learned to do something. And there's a lot of different subjects, quote unquote subjects, with, that you can teach somebody how to do, even if it's not like, oh, straight out, a math teacher teaching how to do some kind of math problem. No, it's not always that straightforward, obviously. Like, if you're training somebody at work to do a similar job to you, or as you, uh, you show them how to do it and whatnot, but how good of a teacher are you explaining that? which something you naturally already know how to do that they don't know how to do, but you're teaching them how to do it. And that's probably the easiest way I can talk about it. So at my job that I'm currently at now, <laughs> I've been there pretty close to now 10 months. Um, in a few days, it will be my 10 month anniversary, actually. And when I was trained, um, I had to go, it, it's a very strange process, but it's uh, watching a whole bunch of videos and doing stuff. So it's not all applying to your job, but things that you might want to know going forward. But yeah, it was a majority of my first day, probably after orientation, just going through videos and everything and reading, basically all of that within probably six hours of my day. And people told me they had no idea how I got through it on my first day, but I did somehow. I got through all the videos, all the training stuff, and I could go to my department and um, learn about my job, technically, on the first day that I technically started. And I had, like, two hours to like shadow people or learn how to do the job I was supposed to do, which two hours is not much, but that's basically all I got. And I got like two different teachers. My very first one, she, and she's still there. She's hard of hearing, nearly deaf. So that's also very complicated. And stuff like that. So when I say I was barely trained, I feel like I was barely trained, even though some doesn't, some don't believe me, but they also believe I learned very fast, quickly, and I'm probably one of the reliable ones. At four months into this job, over it a little. I mean, it, it was very stressful, obviously, and it took some time to get used to. Um, but at four months, uh, after being brand new, I got my first person to train and yeah, four months into my job, four months, somebody who has been four months into the job training somebody who is brand new and that's insane. Unfortunately, she did not stick around too long.
and she was my very first one but it wasn't because of me it was because she was having her own issues uh there was another person after her but i did not train her so i didn't have to worry about it another one a guy this time came and and i met him on his first day like i had to go fetch him my boss told me to go fetch him and I so he was the first person I was the first person he's seen and I sort of trained him too I did train him and walked him through it as best as I can so before this job and everything I was always told before this job but my first job before this one I was told I was a pretty good teacher, I was a pretty good trainer, and I always explained things thoroughly and naturally, and I guess, and basically it told I'm a good teacher, stuff like that, and well, I explained things as I try to, and make sure people understand, and I always say if you have questions, just ask, I'll answer them if I can. Things like that. Um, this guy that I trained also had trained a, another new guy. And <laughs> I remember this guy that I trained, he came to me and said, Why didn't you train this new guy? You're a better teacher than I am. And it's kind of funny. It's kind of funny hearing that. And it's like, I don't know. <laughs> I wasn't here. And just hearing that so it's like okay so yes people are different trainers or teachers and maybe they feel like they're not the best at it or they haven't really been exposed to it can it be taught i'm not sure <laughs> i'm going to say no because i feel like nobody taught me how to be a good teacher or explainer or something i think it comes with maybe a bit of your personality but maybe not it i mean i guess it depends like i can't explain it other than well everybody knows how i am i mean you can go off the joke that i had the mother nature maybe it has to come from that that I explain things, I teach people how to do things, I mean, I've taught Muha and Bon how to play Phasmo, and I remember, like, Bon saying, oh, if Mama Shad teaches you, you'll be, you'll know how to play this game, and stuff like that, and I don't know, it's like, well, you have to come from a way of experience, too, but once you learn how to do something uh, i don't know like it, it i feel like it's your personality and how you talk in a way like how you would talk to somebody explaining well this is how you do it not everybody has that i'll walk you through like step by step how in a way of so you can understand it some people are like um fast putting in a work away and this is how i would look at it like some people are short sentences and some people are long paragraphs unfortunately i'm probably one of those people who are long paragraphs and this is a weird uh explanation i know but it makes sense right so i'm like a storyteller so I'm going to be a person who's going to give you a basically a very detailed list instead of short sentence, another short sentence, and short sentence. <laughs> I, I am going to give you long sentences and I'll give you a paragraph. That's how I would explain it. And so are you a short sentence or a long sentence that kind of thing or it could be worse instead of short sentences the long paragraphs you have one word people 
one word people are probably not going to be great teachers, honestly. I think those would be worse. I would think there's there surely is nobody who is a one word answer person. Hopefully not. You're not teaching anybody there that doesn't feel like you care about somebody teaching somebody your job, then I would hope that you were not picked to train somebody then. I would hope you're at least a, long, a short sentence or a long paragraph. <laughs> because the one word isn't going to help anybody, right? And you feel like you're really not learning. Which I can say at least the people I learned from were not one uh, word teachers, thankfully. <laughs> I That's actually a weird concept because I never thought about it before. It's just what came to mind. And I guess as a writer, when you can see things and the easiest thing to put in front of you are words and reading. Not everybody reads, but it's a concept that makes sense in my head. One word, short sentence, or long paragraph. And people are what they are, I guess. And some people hate having a lot to read. And that's how it is. But talking, it, well, <laughs> if you stay on topic when topping, talking, topping uh i mean it's not like you're going off page into a different story completely from the one you're telling so when you're teaching somebody if you're staying on topic and you help them it's like this is how you do this and whatnot it's not completely like oh you talk too much you're boring i would hope I hope the person you're trying to teach is actually paying attention and whatnot. I guess there's a balance between you should have between that short sentence and the long paragraph probably to successfully teach somebody, but making sure like let them know, hey, you can ask questions. I'm willing to answer. I'm not going to sit here and talk your ear off engage with me so I can help you sort of thing and I think that's the best way to teach someone to be an effective teacher even if you feel like you can't do probably exactly what I'm doing now um I guess in a way I'm teaching you how to be a better teacher but can you learn from me doing this maybe maybe not but I feel like you talk how you talk. It's not really taught. I, you know what I mean. It, it's very complicated, but I like this conversation um, topic because it gets your brain thinking. It's like, how do we learn how to teach somebody something else that we already know how to do? It's kind of like What's an example? Some What is something you're taught to do, or you think you're taught to do, but you're really not taught how to do? You just know how to do it naturally. But it's not that, but it's something that, it's because somebody, everybody does it different. It's, it's like we're all taught how to talk, but we all don't speak the same language. We don't all speak the same uh, dialect in a way. We don't all use the same words. Um, it depends on your level of well, what you were, the words you were taught, if you're a reader or writer, things like that. We pick up most of the things that we naturally do whether we realize it or not, from other things that we are technically involved in. So, teaching somebody how we teach somebody 
come i would feel like comes from that way of things that how we pick up things things or information for ourselves rather than somebody telling us how to do it that way that makes sense to me i hope it makes sense to you and so we're all going to be teachers in a different way than another person is so hopefully still the end goal remains the same that hopefully the person that you are teaching how to do something learns how to do that thing and if not well it's fine not everything is for everyone but that's what i would hope uh you accomplish that it because it makes you feel good but it's like yeah it feels great because i taught this person how to do it and they're good at it now too that's what you want but you never know because it still falls on that person on did they learn how to do it and well you can teach them how to do it but that doesn't mean they're always going to do it it just all depends on them so don't always feel bad because i've trained a few people that have obviously came shorthanded and uh, not necessarily on this job but even the job before doesn't mean you can be a great teacher but that doesn't mean your student quote unquote student is going to be successful and that's the reality of it but i think that's good enough for this one it was a very good topic i was surprised um so yeah i hope it got your head turning especially the next time you teach try to teach somebody how to do something and maybe hopefully one day you're around to see that person teach another person uh the same thing you taught them kind of pay attention maybe to how they do it unfortunately I was not around when the guy I trained how to do my job, well, the similar job, not my job, because he didn't replace me, but he's working beside me. I wasn't there when he was teaching the other guy who was unfortunately gone, and he was very good at his job too, by the way. So even though uh, the guy I trained claimed he was not a very good teacher, and I should have trained him, the guy who came under him was not horrible at all he was very good he understood he did his job unfortunately i had to say bye to him a few days ago because he was moving so we had to quit and unfortunately he turned out to be a really good guy he was great i loved him and everybody loved him and saying bye was hard and he wasn't the only one sadly i had to say bye to but yeah, I wasn't there when the guy I trained trained him, but it probably would have been interesting to like see both sides of it and how it would have went, but that's fine that I didn't because I know I'm not going to be training somebody the same way somebody else is going to be trained. It depends on that person. It really does and that's how it goes that's the end of the story so if you enjoyed this one which i hope you do i hope you enjoy most of them uh thank you for listening and i will see you in the next one bye